my lovelies. We're off on another winter adventure today. <laughs> we have a few loose ends to tie up before Christmas. We have one more Christmas card that we didn't get in the mail that we have to do as a last minute thing, like, ooh, nail biter. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna get some winter coffees from Starbucks and I have some errands to run around town um, And I think I'm gonna buy some soft pretzels So if you if you've never been in the Philadelphia area, you may not know what a soft pretzel is, but I'll show you because they're delicious <laughs> Come along for the day Now this is a soft pretzel Yum I'm gonna show you how to make a festive party dip. I made something very similar to this in my Mediterranean diet snack video, which I will link down below. This is basically on the same premise. You can just vary the ingredients that you put on top. So I'm starting with some hummus. I'm gonna put it into a nice bowl and we're gonna add some layers of freshly chopped tomatoes. I have some here in various colors, some yellow and some orange and some red, a little bit of purple. I have different color olives here that we're gonna put on top. I have some grated fontina cheese, and we have some parsley to add a little green to the top. So all we're going to do is put this in a bowl, layering it up together, and then voila, you're done. So here goes the hummus. This is just store-bought hummus. It's the regular original version, which is slightly garlicky, very creamy. So layer that in first, kind of smooth it out a little bit. I love hummus. It's such a great snack and it's so healthy for you. And next, I'm going to put some of these colorful tomatoes on top. Cover the top. Looks pretty already, right? And now some olives. I'm not going to put as many olives because they're pretty strong, but they're also in nice different colors. It's a mix of Greek, Nisoise, and some Italian Sicilian olives. Put some cheese on top. Also, I'm not putting a lot of anything here. And then a little sprinkling of parsley for a little greenery. There you have it. I also have some toast points that I made here, some little toasted Italian bread. You can use chips, you can use cucumber slices, you can use carrot sticks, and you just dig in. Make sure you get a little bit of everything in there, and there you have it, festive party dip. Super healthy, very Mediterranean. Mmm, enjoy. Today I'm making soap. So in here I have two pounds of goat milk soap. I've cut it up into small chunks and I'm just melting it down over a double boiler. I'm gonna add some fragrance. This is called melt and pour technique. And as I said in one of my previous videos, I'm making a bunch of soap that I'm gonna to donate to the veteran's home. So I'm going to scent this batch with lavender essential oil. And then I also have this one, which is aloe and olive. And it's kind of a clear, transparent soap. So I'm gonna make this batch with, I have this fragrance oil, which is cucumber, violet, and fennel. So I chose lavender essential oil and this cucumber, violet, fennel because they just both have a very nice clean smell and they're kind of unisex. They could be for any sex that anyone identifies with. Um, they're not too floral, they're not too herby, they're not too soapy. They're just very nice, light, clean fragrances. I'm just stirring this gently to cool it down before I add the fragrance. I don't want it to be too hot. If the soap is too hot, sometimes the fragrance can just dissipate. So before it starts to thicken back up, that's when I'll add the fragrance. I've chosen to use lavender essential oil because it's the safest of all the essential oils. It's gentle on the skin uh, and it's, I think it's just universally loved as a fragrance and it makes a lovely soap. So I'm adding the fragrance a little at a time and then I'm stirring it in and then I give it a sniff test to see if it's strong enough. I don't want it to be too strong to where it's overpowering. 
but I also don't want it to be too weak to where people don't realize that it's scented at all. So I just like to do it a little at a time, give it a minute to settle in, and then just go by my nose. I've just poured the soap into the soap mold and actually filled five of the cavities. I'm just going to give them a little spritz with some alcohol. Takes the bubbles off of the top. Makes a nice even bar. So now we just wait for these to solidify, but in the meantime we're going to work on our second batch. The best part is when you're cleaning up, it's soap. <laughs> you get to test it out for yourself to see how it smells, see what kind of lather it's producing, and I think this is very nice emollient bar. Look at those bubbles. So much fun. As you can see here, I'm just chopping these into smaller pieces. I'm trying to do it one-handed so I can show you with the camera, but it just makes them melt faster. So now I'm melting down the aloe vera and olive oil soap. This is also a really nice base. The clear soap sometimes are fun to add color to. You can make them look like jewels. <laughs> um, but again, I'm going to leave this color free. I don't know the people in the home and I, I don't want to add anything that could cause an allergic reaction. Um, so I'm just keeping it very basic. I'm stirring the fragrance into the transparent soap now. And I think it was a really good choice. It smells really nice and I think it works well with the clear soap. Mm -mm. You can really smell the cucumber, but it's tempered a little with the violet and the fennel. Very nice. I might have to make a bar of this for myself. So I don't have enough of this style bar mold left, so I poured the rest of that soap into this loaf mold, which then, when it solidifies, I'll cut into bars. You can see it's rectangular shaped with straight edges. So it's just another option. What's the next day now? And this is what the soaps look like now that I've popped them out of the mold. So here is the goat milk lavender essential oil soap. And this is the aloe vera olive oil soap that was scented with the cucumber, violet, and fennel. These are pretty large size bars. These are almost a half a pound of soap each. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut them in half this way, because then it'll still be a decent sized bar, and that way it can go around to more people. This is what they look like all packaged up. So here's the lavender. I made a label for it. And I put the ingredients on the back. And here is the aloe and olive. Also the ingredients are on the back. I think they make a nice little festive gift. For supper today, we're having pizza and a salad. So we bought this pizza earlier today. It needs to be heated up. We have a place nearby that has a brick oven pizza. So we just bought a plain pizza. I'm gonna add some herbs to it. I really kind of like my pizza plain, so I'm not gonna do too much to it. And then we're gonna make a salad. For the salad, I'm making a dressing out of lemon juice and olive oil. I've already put salt, pepper, and a sprinkling of Italian herbs on here. And I made the salad as colorful as possible. So I used two kinds of lettuce. Well, I used three kinds of lettuce, actually, because I used radicchio, two kinds of green lettuce, some cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, some carrot slivers. I love to make a salad with lemon instead of vinegar because it just has such a fresh taste. And in winter like this, it makes you think a little bit of summer. So some extra virgin olive oil, and now we're gonna to toss this together. See all those colors. Each color has its own nutrition. For the winter solstice, we're going to make some vin brulee, which calls for a bottle of burgundy. Now, if you don't know what vin brulee is, it's a celebratory drink that people make with wine in the winter time. Um, it's sort of like mulled wine, but it's much, much simpler. It has very few ingredients. It's really delicious. So I'm not going to make the entire bottle of, of burgundy. 
it's just the two of us, so we're just gonna make a little bit. So I'm gonna reduce the ingredients, but I'll put the full recipe in the description box below if you wanna make it for yourself. So here we go. But I have a cup of burgundy, putting it into a saucepan. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. When you make a whole bottle, it calls for a peel of one orange, but this is the peel of one clementine. <laughs> and I have two little cinnamon sticks here. So I'm gonna stir this around, and we're gonna heat this up. I'm gonna put a lid on it. And when we hear it start to get all gassy and bubbly and boil, we're going to take the lid off and light a flame to it, and it's gonna burst into a big beautiful blue flame and then we're going to drink it. So it's very festive, so here we go. Woo! <laughs> Happy solstice everyone! Cheers to Vlogmas. Happy solstice, everyone. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and a happy new year. Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas, and I hope you come back again. Mm. <laughs>